In this episode, we're going to look at the Pearl Charger. Now, I have a prototype. This unit isn't even available to the public yet. It's going up on a Kickstarter that kicks off uh, in April 2018. I have a pre-release sample. We're going to check this thing out. I'm going to take it apart, and I'm going to put it through its paces. So let's take a look at this unit. So a quick look at their website. This is uh, the information that I've got on it. Uh, they're going to give a couple of them away over the next couple of weeks, so you might want to go to the website and apply for it. But here's our features. It's got four charging ports, 2.7 amps per charger, 10.8 amps total. There's four separate circuits, so uh, each each device will charge independently. has full overload protection, full short circuit protection. It'll charge with up to 50 watts of power. You can give it anywhere from 7 to 17 volts with AC to DC adapters or car adapters, even a lead acid battery, a, a DC output from a solar panel, etc. And it's built as solid as a solid aluminum body. Uh, this thing is really built well. We're going to take this unit apart and I'm going to show you the inside of it. Again, this is a this is a pre-production model, but uh, this thing looks to be the real deal. And uh, I think you guys will agree. So as we continue to look at the specifications here, this is this is all your devices, right? It's short circuit protected, static discharge protected, protected from overheating, protected from re reverse polarity, it's built on an anodized aluminum and four layer uh, four uh, fiberglass board. Um, and uh, as you see, here's all the specifications you can read here. And our specs, output uh, power 10.8 amps. This thing looks to be really well built, but uh, don't take my word for it. Let's take this thing apart and see what's inside it. You see my 564 Allen key here, hex key, and we'll spin this case apart on this thing in no time. Nice metal screws. This being a prototype, I would fully expect that this is probably hand built. Wow, very nice. Let's see if I can take this off the bottom here. It's probably just, oh, it's just. Got a thermal pad on the bottom there. A little spacer here. Really well made board on this thing. Wow, this thing's just looks to be really well built. There's a nice good close up of the board here. It's Pearl Technologies. Here's our output, 5 volts, 11 amps. That would be for all of them. Input is uh, 7 to 17 volts. Here's are going to be our charge controllers and our, our uh, this would be a buck converter in here to drop the voltage down. So here's the, here are the, the, the uh, inductors, our status LEDs. This is going to be our power consumption, our power charging LED. Tell us or seven segment displays, which are just made up of chip components. And this looks to be made in USA quality. It's um, the workmanship on this thing here, as you guys can see, is just, it's excellent. Now this is a, this is a prototype, so I would expect that the manufactured ones would also be very good quality. I don't know where they're, whether they're going to make them domestically or whether they're going to have them, you know, made, you know, made in China. But if you get in there right now, for, for the prototype ones, you'll be getting a real good one. But this looks to be, I mean, just looking at the quality of this thing is is the soldering work on this is fantastic. And you can tell it's handmade because, you know, some of the parts like this one here is not, you know, if this was done by machine, these would be all perfectly straight. But you, you can tell 
this prototype has been handmade, but it's just excellent. Okay, I'm going to uh, power this thing up. We're going to see how this thing works. I'll try some charging some stuff up with this thing, and uh, I'll draw some power through there and uh, put this thing through its paces and see how well it works. Even the top cover, right? Here's here's the top cover. You know, it's an aluminum cover. And here, this is for our display, for our lights to shine through. They've th it looks like they've, th they've 3D printed this. Super job, man. This is great. I have to thank the guys there for sending me this thing to show you guys because uh, this is uh, first rate work. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to put the cover back on it here. We're going to hook this thing up and uh, we're going to do some charging with it and we'll see how it, uh, how it performs. Uh, it comes with this super power supply, 2 amp, 12 volt output. I don't have to use this though, it's just a standard plug I can use any type of adapter and I'm just go I'm going to do that I'm just going to find like a two and a half amp uh, um, uh, just a switch and power supply and I'll charge it with that okay I've just plugged it into it just a standard 12 volt adapter one of these standard two and a half amp DC uh, converter like AC to DC converter just a regular power supply I'm gonna plug in four USB charging cords to this thing and I'm going to load this thing down and charge four different devices. When I'm going to charge on here, I'm going to charge my Nikon camera, I'm going to charge my cell phone, maybe a couple cell phones, and I'll also get charging a couple tablets. So there's two charge cords plugged in. The third charge cord here. And one more here. So now I've got my four charge cords plugged in. Let's start plugging in devices. Okay, I'm going to plug in my camera here, the first one. And that's telling me it's charging at one point. We're charging now. We'll take the second charge cord. We're going to plug that into my cell phone here. Now, or, or that's watts, sorry, 9.3 watts. And then we'll get the third one going here. Third one I'm going to plug into my old tablet. This is going to be totally dead, I'm sure, because this thing hasn't been charged up in months. So let's plug this one in. Okay, third one's plugged in. This is an old Asus tablet. And I'll plug my Samsung tablet in as well and get it charging. And there we have four devices charging. And I'm just going to leave this thing run. And uh, we'll let these let these bad boys charge up, and uh, see we'll see what we're doing. We're gonna we're drawing about 17 watts right now, 16 watts. Uh, now these devices are all gonna charge at a slightly different rate because not all of them support super fast charging. I think this one here only supports like one and a half amps or so. Anyway, uh, we're gonna let these things charge, and uh, we'll check back on it and see how they're doing. So I should note this button here; it controls the brightness. So you have three different brightnesses for the display. So two of these devices are totally dead. This camera here is totally dead. And this tablet is totally dead. In fact, I think the tablet just turned on. Yes, it did. And it's telling me that my battery is completely flat. So we'll let this one charge up and see how long it takes. See, it says charging. 0%. So we'll let this thing run and we'll see how long it takes to uh, charge up this tablet. The other devices aren't in as, aren't in as dead a state as this, but this one this one's totally dead. Uh, the Samsung's not completely dead. It's got, uh, I think it's probably got about 90% of its charge in it. So it's not going to take as long to charge. But um, the phone itself is also needs a, a fair bit of a charge. In fact, I might I might be further ahead to put my, my Blackberry on because this one's only at a 49% charge. So maybe I'll swap my Blackberry over for the Samsung. So now I've just swapped out my Blackberry for the Samsung tablet because it's almost fully charged. This one's at a 40% charge. So now we've got this thing uh, charging up here. 20 watts is what we're drawing right now. I'll let this thing run for a while and uh, we'll see how quick things charge up. 
on this charger. You can see my charge state here is at 48% on this one. This phone's around 60% as well, but both of these two are sitting down at zero. So it'll be interesting to see how quick they charge up. Right now I'm kind of limited because I'm only, I only had a two and a half amp input on this thing. If I hook this up to a battery, for example, I could probably draw more. Okay, well, it's only been just over an hour. My BlackBerry is fully charged. This one here is probably also fully charged too. Uh, this one is, uh, gotta unlock my company phone here. Yeah, this one's fully charged. Oh, this was out here. I guess when I moved it, it went back into charge. Fully charged, fully charged. The camera's coming up on a full of charge now. This light will stop, should stop flashing momentarily. The tablet's at 21%, but that's to be expected because this one was completely flat dead, and they do take a few hours to charge. But we're down to 12.7 watts now, 13 watts. Uh, let them let it continue to charge for a bit here, and uh, we'll see uh, how quickly it brings this tablet up. Down to two devices now as the two phones are fully charged. So I'm just uh, watching the tablet charge. It's at 24% now. Okay, camera is now fully charged. Down to one light. Still charging up the tablet here. Well, there we go. It's now fully charged. It says here it's charged. Uh, it took a few hours to charge, but again, this is a big battery. That's to be expected. Um, well, the light came back on just now because I turned on the screen. I left it off there for a bit. Um, that's it. Great little unit. I'm going to be using this as my charger for all my devices now. A big thanks goes out to the guys at Pearl Charger for sending me this prototype to check out. Looks to be excellent. I'm going to be using it. Thanks again, guys, for watching. We'll catch you in the next one real soon.